I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And, and this, this is Lacey. Lacey. We're, We're going, going to Beverly Hills. We get to go to the Homeless Not Toothless event. I'm so excited. It's a charity event, and Sharon Stone and William H. Macy are going to be there, along with Dariq Kemsley from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. We thought that was the lineup, and I was so excited. Little did I know there was an even bigger surprise in store. It was being held at the Beverly Hilton in the same room as the Golden Globes. We were so excited, we decided to get a room and make a weekend of it. We had amazing views from the room, and we enjoyed sitting on the patio as we tried to softly break the news to Lacey that she was not gonna be able to come to this event. I think she took the news well. She knew it was important to me. So we got all dressed up like we were going to prom, we took our selfies with our amazing views, and we headed on down. We were a few minutes early, and we just expected a few people to be gathering in the lobby. But instead, we got off the elevator to a big yellow sign that said, you're entering our film set. And they were filming for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Oh my gosh, as soon as I saw that gorgeous pink dress, I knew that was Erica Jane. Oh my gosh, she was gorgeous and so skinny. I just immediately started shaking. I was so crazy starstruck. These are my housewives. I had watched them for so many years. And they were all here. Oh, and there was Garcelle. She was so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I was so excited and nervous all at the same time. I was trying so hard to just take it all in, but I just really couldn't. My head was spinning. This was crazy. I mean, there we were, standing in the Beverly Hilton lobby, about to go into the same room where they host the Golden Globes with the Beverly Hills Housewives. I was pretty sure I was dreaming at this point. I was so shocked as soon as we walked in the room, Erica Jane started heading our way. She was coming to talk to the sweet lady with pink hair we were talking to. Oh my gosh, this about made me faint with excitement. Oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan. Erica Jane ended up standing at a table right next to us, so I went over nervously and told her how beautiful and skinny she was. And when I turned around, they told me I had been on camera and I had to sign a release because I might be on the show. Oh my God, that was so exciting. Are you excited to be cool. on the show? I excitedly watched as they just sat there talking and filming for the show. Oh, and then Kyle and Mauricio came in. They're so cute. And then it was Dorit's turn. She looked so glamorous. <laughs> William H. Macy was standing by to take pictures with all the fans. Erica Jane was taking pictures, so I had to get my chance. She was so nice, you guys. Oh my God, you look so good. Both of you. Erica, you look so good. And then we saw Paula Abdul was there. Please take your seats at this time. We sat down to dinner as they started the show. Hello and welcome to Beverly Hills. Thank you for joining us. 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 Thank you for joining us.
welcome to the 2023 Hollywood Gala for the Homeless Not Toothless. And even if you really had very little knowledge about what h &T really does, so as you all enjoy your dinner, I wanted to share the organization's origin story and a bit more about the services it provides. California State Senator Ben Allen. There's a bit of an intermission to go out and look at all the items up for auction. That's when I took my chance to try and get a picture with some of the Bravo Liberty housewives. A limited edition yeah, helmet. The black mat. Very nice. Anything else I need to know about it? <laughs> it's Joe Montana. Joe Montana, what can you say, right? All right. Cool. I saw Dorit, so I waited patiently to try and get a photo with her. She was so nice. Oh, and then we got to see Garcelle. Oh my gosh, Garcelle was an angel. She was so sweet. We grabbed Mauricio for a picture, and then as they told us to go back inside, I started stalking Sutton. I really wanted to get a picture of her before we went back in. Luckily, she was so nice, and I grabbed her on her way back in. She was a sweetheart. I'm very, very thrilled, humbled, and grateful to be here tonight to celebrate and support homeless, not toothless. Woo! h and has also provided the dental care to the foster children who don't have parents and who typically live in families that have very minimal resources. I came across this program and I had somebody listening on the other end. Homeless Not Toothless is a nonprofit. I just want to say, if that's not heartwarming enough, this, uh, this foundation and what's being done is just truly beautiful. It's really moving to see just how much of a difference being able to smile can change a person's entire life for health. Dr. J would regularly drop a dollar or some leftover food when he walked by on his way to his office. However, he soon began to feel that that was insufficient. One day, as he reached into his pocket for another dollar bill to hand out, Dr. J felt his business Dr. J Grossman. Let's get you on The Real Housewives and let's see what that exposure will do because it'll expose us to a much wider audience. And, you know, when I called her, we had a menu change. We were, you know, near the Hollywood Bowl at an American Legion Hall three weeks ago. That got canceled. And we had to put this together in three weeks, which I'm sure, as you can see, takes something. So tell me, does Dorit know how to throw a party? <laughs> no way that without the board and without Dorit's help that, that this could have been anything but extraordinary. So I'm so grateful. And I want to talk about the name Homeless Not Toothless, or what we should say is, you know, the elephant in the room because it got a lot of press on, 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 on the TV show. And, and, and perhaps rightfully so, because over the years, language has changed, right? Language has changed. You know, there's some things that we just don't say anymore. And, and when I came up with the concept of Homeless Not Toothless, it, it was really to, to give people teeth because that's what I could do. Like if I could give them teeth and somebody else could give them a haircut and somebody else could you know, give them a job skill set, then we could get them off the street. So the concept made sense. They're homeless, but they're no longer toothless. That was, that was what I was giving. And there was certainly no disrespect intended with the name. 
and the board is looking at the name to see whether or not we need to, you know, change it with changing times. So I just want to let you know it's on our radar, and I'm not, I'm not insensitive to the circumstances of, of, of our time. <laughs> To me, I love you. I'm sorry I can't be there, but next time I'll come and sing for you for sure. Yeah. Have an amazing evening. I've raised loads of money. God. Amazing! Please welcome back to the stage HMT board member Dorit Kemsley. Hello again, everyone. It's an honor to present you with the Homeless Not Toothless Donor of the Year Award. How are we doing tonight, LA? How about them Lakers? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now, I can get in, I can continuing donation. And a big part of HMT is giving people because he happens to be one of the hardest working and most successful managers in the music business and has been named a manager of the year by Variety. His roster of major artists include Tyga, Yale, Mario, and Post Malone, one of my favorites. He's also an incredible entrepreneur involved in multiple businesses, including real estate, wine, and technology. He's a self-made guy from London. Please welcome the ever so charming, Dre London. winning actor was most recently seen in the hit show Shameless and the award-winning miniseries The Dropout. Please put your hands together for HNT Ambassador William H. Macy. auction packages and here to help me part you with some of your money is auctioneer Sean Endicott. Sean, come on in. Thank you Bill, thank you. The legendary William H. Macy, ladies and gentlemen, please take a round of applause. Alright, now this is the time that evening ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to kick it up a little bit. All right, and we're going to raise a lot of money for H&T right now. Is everybody ready to have a good time and raise some money? Yeah. $13,000. I'm $12,000 on the mind there now. Who got $13,000? Got it here. $14,000 worth of testimonials. And, and tonight, I think our theme is we're changing lives tonight, right, ladies and gentlemen? That's what we're trying to do. And um, you heard what William H. Macy was saying about six nights at the Old Course Hotel, right? Two nights at Glen Eagles, two nights uh, and uh, golfing at Turnberry, another two nights, private transfer throughout your stay. You will play five British open courses. Now, the old course, you could not even get on the old course. $28,000, $5,000, $7,500, $7,500 here, $25,000, got it. Thank you, $27,500, $30,000. I'm a $27,500 here now, who got $30,000 last call? Fair warning, $27,530,000. Oh, there it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here it is right here. Look at this. Absolutely stunning. Thank you. Let's give ourselves a round of applause our live auction. Please welcome back to the stage, Paula Abdul. It's been a very inspiring night, that's for sure. I want to thank all of you for being with me. And the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Hang on, Paula, hang on. I'm sorry. Sorry, Miss Paul Abdul. 
You are so amazing. And honestly, everyone, a round of applause for Paula. Paula Abdul. Before we close out the show, we've got a surprise for you and for everyone here. I know you didn't know about this, and forgive me for embarrassing you if I can take a moment because we're honored and privileged to have you here tonight. Paula has been a friend, a supporter, and someone who's defined the last three decades in spreading joy, music, style, love, and humor. She's, yes. She's been a permanent fixture on our TVs and in our hearts. She always looks to bring out the best in people and help them find their authentic selves and showcase their talents which is exactly what Homeless Not Toothless is all about. In recognition of all of that, you do, in recognition of all of that and all that you do for h and and all the ways that you make people smile, we would like to present you with this special award. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. I feel like I now belong. You too. Thank you all so much. What a beautiful evening. And uh, thank you, Dorothy. And I just have to say this. I love the Beverly Hills Housewives. <laughs> and the house husbands. Just want to say that. Okay, so we all know that I love music. I love to be with something very special. She's a very, very special girl and my friend. Please give it up. She's on fire. She's a multi-nominated artist, an award winner, and just a, she's a broad and she's awesome. It's Taylor Dane. <laughs> Let's go back to 1988. Oh, my God. I mean, we had so much fun. We made new friends. And we got to be on TV with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Well, that's still a maybe. We couldn't stick around too long. We had to go get Lacey. Oh, Lacey, I'm so sorry we had to leave you tonight. But it was totally worth it because it was such an amazing night. And as we were sitting there playing with Lacey on the red carpet, all the housewives started to walk out.
Richards is the only one I didn't get my picture with, and she was the one I really wanted to get one with. And while we were standing there, there was a younger girl who just yelled out at Kyle, I love you, can I get your picture? And Kyle said yes, and the girl didn't actually have her phone with her. So I jumped in and said, I'll take one. Last one out was Dorit. I told her what an amazing time we had and I was so appreciative she had it changed to the Beverly Hilton to make for a magical weekend. Thanks, Thanks for, for going, going with us to the Homeless Not Toothless charity, charity event and with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. <laughs>